Yes, Chef! With Ryan. It is Tuesday, and that means Yes Chef with Ryan in the studio. Good morning, Ryan. Good morning, Peter. You're looking like you're about to have fun today. Yeah, you well, look a bit I, sneaky. I was just thinking, like, you know, before, <laughs> whenever I heard the the intro music, I was like, ah, I won't feel like dancing, and now I just worry about how you're feeling. Buddy. <laughs> I'm wondering if you're starting to dread that intro music a little bit. Like, you're gonna have to eat something you're not so sure. I about. think it's like Pavlov's dogs. You know, I'm being trained now to realize <laughs> I'm gonna eat something I don't like whenever that music comes out, and inside of me there is a fear. Well, I take this one as a real challenge today. Um, I know you'll be honest with everyone listening. Yes, I will. I, I really think that I'm going to change your mind really? today. I really think I am. Okay, so yeah. it's white in appearance. It's soft and smooth, kind of like a jelly or a pudding. And mm -hmm. when you take a bite into it, it tastes savory, a bit like cheese. Well, that's at least what our writer has wrote here. I'm talking about tubu, tofu, which is a common food in Korea. Is it seasonal in any way? Um, it can, well, uh, not so much. I mean, this is made from the, the mature dried beans of the soybean plant. Okay. So the, the like edamame, the little green pods you might have at yeah. a sushi restaurant. Yeah. That's, that's a different, uh, that's a more fresh one. That'd be more seasonal. Okay. But, uh, but the tofu can made, be made year round from those dried beans. From that same bean from the edamame? Yeah, it's soybean. Oh, really? Bean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's it's a soybean. just, that's a green one, but then... There's and there are different kinds of soybeans too. There's black ones. There's white ones. There's oh, I didn't know there was such variety. I love edamame. Yeah, and you know, a soy sauce and and duinjang soybean mm. paste yeah. and all all these amazing things come from this one ingredient. That so, is pretty impressive, it's right? Cool in yeah. Korean cooking, and there's such different flavors as well, like soy mm. sauce duinjang, and then just your regular tubu or tofu. Um, mm. So you can get this all year round in the supermarkets here. You know, one thing that is kind of neat and seasonal about this ingredient today is right now is the time in the traditional calendar to plant your new soybean plants. Oh, really? So actually, maybe it was last week or it's last weekend this week are the kind of like the ancient almanac of Korea, mm. you know, farmer's almanac, yeah. um, saying when to plant each thing. And now is the time, or so I've heard from my, my garden shop folks, yeah. um, to plant soybeans. And I'm going to try to do that and try to make uh, soy sauce and, and soybean paste and all those wonderful things this year. Nice. With your very own soybeans. Right, right. From start to finish to try to get the full experience. Yeah. So you just plant them outside and then they don't require too much? Um, no, actually, you know, they do grow fairly easily. It's one of the major crops across the U.S. and Brazil mm -hmm. and, and, of course, really, really important in Asia. Yeah, they were saying when, like, tofu first came out, I remember, that this is going to solve world <laughs> hunger and it no was, one's going to be starving. It was the least favorite food it won the award for least favorite food in in america in the 80s really um but i think that's because we were getting you know a dumbed down version of yeah. what is enjoyed often here and peter's looking at me like yeah it still gets my least favorite <laughs> yes it really is one of my least favorite ingredients by itself like i can enjoy it in a stew or a soup here in Korea. Sure, and there's often lots of those, yeah. yeah. Yeah, because it really takes on that flavor then, mm -hmm. you know, especially in like a, a doenjang jjigae, uh, which is the soybean soup anyway, with the soybean tofu in there. Right, right. It's like yeah. a soybean festival, isn't it? Yeah. Um, first, though, I wanted to ask, you know, this is the original tofu in its original state, right? It's not been colored or, or handled um, in any way. Well, w the one on the left is the firm tofu, and you buy it and it's... It's kind of in a, a little bit of a salty brine, oh, so okay. it has a little salt added. Uh, what I've what I've done here is I've brought three different kinds. We've got a firm, we've got a medium firm, and then the silken tofu. Oh, there are three different kinds. I wonder Ooh. if our camera can pick this up because we've got it in the studio, um, but. I don't know if that camera is working or not. Is it? Is it? Is it on? It it, it is on. Um, and here, these are the three different types. Uh, the one on the left hand side of the screen is the silken one, right? Mm -hmm. That's the right. really smooth one. The middle is the middle firm, and the firmest is on the left, uh, right hand side, I should say. Mm -hmm. What are those little things on top of it? Ah, uh, that's a little um, chai flowers from the rooftop garden this morning. Oh, Just, nice! Uh, very pretty, very decorative. totally edible, and and uh, pack a nice little onion flavor. Oh, Okie dokie. So the reason they're white is, does it come from a white variety well, of soybean? 
uh, that's the most common one. Uh-huh. Um, and and so basically, you're making soybean milk. You grind, you soak them, you grind them, you mm-hmm. make a soybean milk, and then you're gonna bring it up to temperature. In most kinds of tofu, you're gonna bring it up to temperature to coagulate it. Add some kind of coagulant like you do when you're making cheese. Mm-hmm. Um, and traditionally, it was made, I think, from seawater here in Korea. Okay. Um, you, you extract some parts of the seawater, and you're left with this other part that you can uh, coagulate the, um, the curds and separate okay. them out. And then you can press it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, depending on how long you press it for, you'll get different kinds of tofu. Oh, the different firmness there. Right. Right. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure which of those firmnesses is my least favorite. I know that none of them is my favorite, um, but we're going to eat it on the show uh, as we do each and every week. Uh, so, how have you prepared these here? Well, there's two um, main ways that I've seen tofu as a side dish in yeah. Korea, and that that's what I've brought today. So we've got. Um, this beautiful sauce here. You you have to love this, Peter. I like the sauce. It's like, okay. what is it? Mainly soy sauce. It's so simple and it's really good. Okay. Normally, this has got chives from the garden, but uh, normally it'd be like scallions, which are so easy to find all over the world. Yeah, like so, spring onions. Right, just chopped up spring onions. Some kind of something sweet. In this case, I used honey, but you can just use sugar mm-hmm. or syrup if you wanted to. Definitely toasted sesame seeds and toasted sesame oil. Yeah. Definitely garlic and soy sauce. And then I put a few um, Korean red chili flakes in there just to add a little spice. Mm -hmm. And then depending on which soy sauce you use, you might want to add a little water so it's not too salty. Okay, and balance okay. it all out. And then so. this sauce is just what you have on your plain tofu. Right, because, you know, the silken tofu and the medium firm tofu, mm-hmm. um, they don't have a whole lot of salt with them. They're really simple. Um, so in Korea, it's often eaten with uh, extra fermented kimchi, you yeah. know, sour kimchi. Yeah, um, like the tupu kimchi, they oh, call I, it, right? I love that. Do you like that? I like know? that because the okay. kimchi and sometimes there's some pork as well there right? And, with the tofu. And the, and the reason for adding that to that, I mm. think, is is that there's so much flavor in that over-fermented kimchi yeah. that you need to kind of balance it out with something kind of bland like the tofu. Yeah, like instead of rice, you're having it with the tofu, right? Exactly, exactly. Uh, and that's okay, but my yeah. argument is <laughs> this by itself is so plain, right? It is. It's like it is. almost no flavor. But, I mean, I, I can get into the textures. Yeah. I mean, these are really hard to pick up with chopsticks. Yes, I was going to say. But... I really like the te- the super smooth texture. It's kind of like um, like a, a nice firm yogurt. Yeah. That's the silken one, right? That's the silken so one. So I'm mm-hmm. going to try this, even though this is probably the least favorite thing to chew on. So <laughs> I could well heave, but let's give it a go with nothing on, okay? That's so plain. It's like, <laughs> I hate that. It just got that. But it's not, it's not really bad. It just doesn't taste like a whole lot at all. Yeah, which I, I just don't like that. Like, okay. I don't like the lack of flavor. <laughs> but it's not completely tasteless. Like, there is some kind like of Like soy milk. A little bit like soy milk. There's a little bit of a nuttiness there. Mm. Yeah. Although I can drink soy milk better than I can eat tofu. Like, I think this mm-hmm. is worse in terms of the lack of flavor. Um, so that's what the sauce is for. Yeah, and, it's, and this is how it's often served. You you might see it steamed, and then they'll add this sauce on top. And the sauce is kind of heavy. It's It's got a lot of flavor, again, because you're pairing it with an ingredient like tofu that has very little, so... Yes. Um, this looks beautiful, by the way. Um, the whiteness of the tofu with the sauce on top. So it looks good. Peter it's, wants to talk about how beautiful it is so he doesn't have yes, to eat it anymore. Yes, just how aesthetically <laughs> pleasing it is. Um, but there again is that combination. The like salty, spicy sauce and then the blandness to balance it out. Why don't right? you use this spoon now so it's a lot easier. Okay. And, uh, and, and tell us what you think about the other... So All right, that so that was the silken on one. Mm-hmm. Uh, here's the medium firm one, right? right? See if you can tell much of a difference between those i don't think there's really all that much difference in terms of flavor right right. oh that's too big (laughs) um okay he's getting tons of sauce and very yes absolutely so this is the medium firm version Mm -hmm. so to make a medium firm version you just have to press it for longer right and when you see the blocks after they've they're you know in the market for sale you can tell that the firm one is a little bit shorter 
than the medium because it's been pressed longer. Mm. Okay, see, that sauce is amazing, right? Like and it. so then it takes on that flavor, the tofu. Mm. And the texture of that one, I prefer that. I think I prefer the firmer versions. Okay, you do. Um, All right, because it's it's got a little more texture to it. Yes, than... absolutely. All right, let me, let me try this firm one here. And that's the firmest. Okay, so I want to try the difference with that. And you see, with the mm. sauce, I can't tell if the flavors are actually different. It's so good. I don't... what. What's wrong with you, man? I mean, and this is so good for your health as well, right? The tofu is seen as like a major health food. Mm. Mm. It, it seems like that firmer one is maybe a bit stronger in flavor. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing maybe because it has less it moisture. It has a little bit of a salt brine that it was mm -hmm. that it was in at the market. Oh. Yeah, okay, but the sauce then, fair enough. That's not too bad at all. And the sauce is delicious. That's the key, though, making a good sauce. Sure, and this is one of my favorite Korean sauces. So easy. Again, it's just garlic, soy, toasted sesame seeds, toasted sesame oil, a little red chili flakes, um, garlic. That's mm. about it. Absolutely fantastic. Delicious. This one you're going to love. Yeah, this is a side dish that you can commonly see. Um, like I don't think I see this so commonly, just the tofu by itself as a side dish, unless you go to that restaurant that serves Some tofu. fine dining restaurants and, you know, Hanshi Korean cuisine, mm. you'll often see a really, really nice in-house made silken tofu yeah. with, this, with their own... Um, sauce on top and it's just tiny little bites little side dish yeah and I, I never go to those fine dining <laughs> places but I know what you mean it looks really stunning mm. like the silk and tofu uh, just aesthetically uh, taste wise yeah again I'm not a big fan but with the sauce right. yeah it's good I don't think I changed Peter's mind on those but let's see if I've got you with this one you so, said you kind of you've had this before yeah so this is tofu that has been cooked a bit right right Right. And it's it's actually shallow fried, mm -hmm. okay, in a neutral oil. I used uh, grapeseed oil in this case. Yeah. Um, and then you take it out of that oil, uh, kind of wipe most of that oil out of the pan, and then saute some onions mm. and some garlic, of course. Okay. And, and some then, sesame seeds I can then see add on there. In, right. We've got sesame seeds. Um, then there's, again, red chili flakes, a little yeah. water, um, a little bit of a sweetener. You can use sugar, again, honey. Um, and yeah, perfect for vegetarians. Tofu, right? Absolutely, I could I could eat this every day. And you usually eat this though with like a rice. You, you wouldn't eat it by itself. Right? Side dish. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it you, can be pretty salty. You it, can so make it. Looks it, appetizing on the camera. Throw it in the fridge. Cheers. Cheers for some tofu. Um, and keep it in your fridge all week. All right, let's it. give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah. So. I really like it because it's been fried as well. Mm. Because then it's got a little bit of crispy crunchiness on the outside and the chewy kind of bleh in the inside. <laughs> um, but I need to have some kind of texture there. That's why I don't like the acorn jelly mm. here in Korea, the mook, which is a kind of similar texture to tofu. What about with the salad, the, the acorn jelly with the mm. lettuce and no. all the... You're not no. going to convince me. No, no. this is salad. I, <laughs> There's I, our topic for next week. No, I should stop <laughs> saying what I dislike and only talk about what I do like. And that is really delicious because it soaks up the flavor as well right. of that sauce. Whereas well, here it's just kind of not really mixed in too much. Yeah, that's a, actually a common misconception. Tofu doesn't really absorb flavors. Mm -hmm. When you fry it, though, okay, yes, then it, you're drying out the edges of it enough, they can absorb flavors. Uh -huh. But... Um, uh, compared to like mushrooms or, or some other ingredients that we really say that will take on the flavors yeah. and things around it, tofu, raw tofu does not really do that too much or, or the tofu that you're t throwing into soups. Yeah. It's uh, more of like a, a, a neutralizer or a balancer. Sure, like with the soups and, and with the sauce as well, you've got to get the sauce kind of on the same spoon or on top of the surface because mm -hmm. even if you look at it now, it's not actually absorbing any of the sauce. It's just like dripping off, That's isn't right. it? Exactly. Um, I wonder why that is. Maybe because it's like saturated with moisture in so there much moisture, right? already um so guys look i've done it so if there are any skeptical people out there try some tofu because i know many europeans especially my friends they're like tofu why are you eating tofu you're not vegetarian you're not <laughs> vegan uh what's the point in eating it this is great man you you i don't see you taking another bite but um no no it, it's good i would like a bowl of rice with it but it, it is sure. good um as a side dish like that and with the sauce as well not bad at all what's the best way you've ever had tofu my mum just does it simply like this, and I yeah. like it when it's fried quite crispy okay. and cut thin. 
Okay, oh, and yeah, then it's yeah, yeah. almost so it's like chewy. A, yeah, it's almost yep. like a completely different animal. And then mm. I dip it in that sauce that you made over there, Ryan, and okay. that's good because gotcha. I can just have it swimming in it. Next time I'll make it like that for you. Yeah, buddy. or with some uh, kimchi, like you said, mm. the really marinated, not marinated, the really fermented kimchi mm -hmm. with the pork. Then it is delicious mm. as well. Um, okay, tofu, not my favorite cup of tea um, but certainly something that is not bad at all uh, with Ryan's cooking skills in part two we'll read out some of your messages and talk a little bit more about tofu before we check what's in your fridge let's play a song though first this is Tabichi featuring Bubble Jint Nong Nong Be Warm all right, we're back for part two of Yes Chef with Ryan, and we got loads of messages coming in about tofu. Uh, Siska in Indonesia says, we have fried tofu skin snacks. Uh, it's salty and crunchy. Yum. Um, I've seen, like, the deep-fried tofu-like snacks here as well. They mm -hmm. taste good because oh. they've been fried in an oil. They've usually got some sesame seeds right, or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On. yeah, Most things taste better fried in oil. It's true, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, it adds an extra dimension to it. And uh, Siska goes on to say... Um, this is my mum's favourite ingredient as well. And if Peter doesn't like tofu, he needs to try my mum's cooking as well. Because <laughs> that right. will convince you. And uh, she said she doesn't like it in soup because of that texture. But when it's fried, it's much better. And uh, you need to try our gorengan tofu, which is tofu, I think, that is deep fried. Deep fried tofu. Don't they have like a, a Japanese kind of version where mm -hmm. it's the silken one inside and it's a bit deep fried on the outside and they put it in some kind of soy sauce kind of marinade? You or know, something. there's so many tofu dishes out there. There's definitely, I've seen the pockets in Japan and here in Korea as well mm. where you can stuff rice in there. Oh, rice yeah. in the tofu. Yeah, the deep fried, the little triangle kind of cut. Oh, yeah, what's yeah, that yeah. called? Yubu. Yeah, here in you, Korea, you or, chop up, right? right, right, right. Um, but that's got that's been like dipped in some kind of sauce or something. It's right? got it's definitely deep fried, and yeah. then you can because it's a thin slice deep fried, and then it'll open up like a pocket. Yeah, and you just stuff and in the stuff rice. Stuff in that rice that it. has. A lot of toasted sesame oil there and some vegetables mixed in. Yeah. Um, and also they put sometimes that kind of tofu that's been deep fried in the noodles, like the udon or something. There's some sliced mm -hmm. versions of it that my kids tend to love. Um, and some other messages here. Soap Doll says, Just give me one bite. I really want the white one. Uh, that's our career list, the Soap Doll. Uh, I'm guessing a tofu fan. Ashley says, OMG, both of you are killing me. I'm absolutely a tofu person in which case we would be killing you if you're made of tofu <laughs> and we're eating you i do apologize uh maureen says peter's face when eating the first piece of tofu was funny chef ryan <laughs> it seems you keep bringing some food that peter doesn't like it does seem that way doesn't it right but you said so, it's not a master plan no there's no evil master plan here we're just sticking with seasonal stuff i think Pe peter's just a finicky eater that's uh, i am a little bit i will admit when i was younger if i did this like when i was in my teens I would not have touched either of those. Seriously, I was so fussy. Uh, Anne from Singapore says, I'm not a fan of tofu, but I do eat them sometimes. And I don't like tofu with a rough texture. Recently, I tried a peanut tofu, which is very smooth and creamy, um, which is served with a dash of grated ginger and soy sauce. Wow. Mm. Can you get different flavors of tofu? Um, in Korea, w you know, we've got um, these kinds. Let's see. You know, in, in China and in Japan, I've seen some other kinds. I've even seen like smoked tofu. Wow. Um, really, really dried ones that have kind of Chinese five spice flavors. Um, you'll see all over China. Um, and those are so firm. I don't know. It's almost like like uh, like a smoked cheese, you know, or like a... No. Yeah. yeah wow. It's tough it's, and chewy. It's quite a diverse ingredient, tofu, right? Man, there's so much you can do with it. It's kind of neat. Yeah, we got like loads of meat substitute dishes in the UK, like sausages and burgers, which I think have a, a high proportion of tofu in them right, right. for vegetarians. I've got to say that I've totally forgot my absolute favorite tofu dish is mapa dubu, um, mm. which is a Chinese style dish where they put up some minced pork, I believe it is, mm -hmm. in a spicy sauce. Like a stir sauce. fry. Right? Yeah, and it's, it's sweet, sweet and, and spicy. spicy right? And mm. it's delicious with a bowl of rice and one dish that my mum often does is uh tofu mixed with minced meat to make these little like hamburger patties right 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 i Kinda don't know like, why um, you add the uh, tofu but it tastes good yeah balance it out and then and yeah. then thin out your meat i think you know back in in the day in korea mm. meat was kind of <laughs> scarce yes. and, and tofu you could grow and everybody could have it so yeah 
Um, even the uh, the stuffed peppers will be meat and tofu combined, stuffed into the peppers and then fried. The oh, gochujang. Yeah. Yes, right? that is delicious. And mm. sometimes you put that also on the hobak, air hobak slices. That's right. See, it's everywhere. It's and everywhere. then it is delicious. I think it's, that's the key. It's got to be meat. It can't be by itself. Not like this. <laughs> Do not eat it plain in the bowl like this. This is just not advisable. Unless you're a healthy eater and... Uh, you know, after the show last week, I went to a kind of famous tofu restaurant just down the road. Yeah. And had just a bowl of tofu. Oh, you said tofu. Wait, just a bowl of tofu? It's so good. With, like nothing you get else on really, it. I mean, these grandmothers at this place have been running this place forever. It's awesome, man. It's it's just this fresh, warm. And they, they give you a sauce that you can add to it. Yeah. But I'll eat usually half the bowl before I add any sauce to it. Just plain tofu. Because it's great when it's made with care and, and with quality ingredients. It's really good. Unbelievable. Uh, Eric from the <laughs> Philippines says, I love tofu too. It's also a great source of protein, iron, and calcium. And I'm going to have some tofu later. This talk makes me hungry. Uh, so, yeah, don't forget it is so healthy. So even if you don't like it, if you're on a diet, I think many girls often eat a lot of tofu when they're dieting i suppose so yeah uh, I mean, high protein uh, little or no fat right yeah. oh yeah my friend he he has like a tofu shake or, or a soy milk shake and then some tofu after working out at the gym mm-hmm. says it's good to help him build muscle you must hate kongguksu then too, oh yes yeah, like my worst <laughs> nightmare i don't like i kongguksu. love uh kongguksu is is kind of like a, a cold well, it sounds strange, but it's like a soy milk mm-hmm. and noodle soup that's yep. served cold. Yeah. And with some sliced raw vegetables mixed in. So, yeah, it's strange for a lot of folks, but it's so good for you and refreshing. And, yeah, and it sounds protein. strange because it is. Uh, <laughs> I do not advise eating that. Or the piji. You know the piji? That's I made love with gong piji jige. Right, yeah. So that's made with bean. Soy, is that soybean as well? Absolutely. It's like really... F- grated almost it's, into like a powder yeah yeah whenever you make uh the soy milk that you then make it into tofu um when you separate kind of the leftover remnants of the bean after you you know getting the milk out that's the kung biji okay and that's made into a lot of different things mm, nice okay one last <laughs> look on, the, on the camera for our tofu i'll have one last bite as we uh, wrap things up because it, this is good and you've made all this um i'm assuming especially for me just Ryan, for so. you buddy Oh, that is lovely. Really? No, this sauce. Is this sauce, though, quite similar to the sauce you made over there? Mm. Let me just. This one's sweeter. Just try, and salty. try a little bit more of this. Oh, yes. You love it. It is different. Yeah, this sauce mm. is amazing. Surely you could just dip anything into here, like fried it's things so as good. well. Mm, that is really amazing. Mm. Delicious sauce. Um, so, we mentioned the recipe earlier. If you want to go back and check it, watch our video uh, that is going to be uploaded onto YouTube and you can see all the previous episodes of me eating she cucumbers as well a couple of weeks back (laughs) while I'm eating Um, this tofu is what we've been talking about today so tune in every Tuesday for Yes Chef on hashtag Daily K keeping you up to date with the latest news from Korea every single day from 9 to 11am and you can watch this on Arirang Radio's YouTube channel in the future